By 1837, Brunel's Great Western Railway was taking up even more of his time as he pushed further west. One of his greatest challenges was getting across the River Thames at Maidenhead. Here, Brunel faced a conundrum that seemed impossible to solve. The Thames River authorities demanded that any bridge built at this point needed to be high enough to allow sailing barges to pass underneath. Now, it's a fairly wide stretch of river here, over 100 yards across, but the authorities would only allow Brunel two arches for his bridge. Never a man to shirk a challenge, Brunel set about solving the puzzle. It would result in one of his most elegant bridge designs, and still to this day, an engineering record holder. Brunel came up with a solution that satisfied the Thames River authorities and allowed him to keep his railway line level. He built these two magnificently graceful arches. 28 feet high, the minimum he had to provide to let the barges sail underneath, and a staggering 128 feet wide. Now, those dimensions give you these kind of squashed arches that you can see. And they're absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, but also practical and record-breaking. Today, they remain the widest brick arches anywhere on Earth. The Maidenhead Bridge officially opened in 1839, and it's still standing here today successfully carrying thousands of passengers and hundreds of trains every day. One of the fun consequences of Brunel's arches here at Maidenhead is you do get the most fantastic echo.